Hi and welcome to the shed. This is not an unboxing. Um, this is it. We can have an un an unscabbing. Oh, come on, there we go. 20 inch. It's called Pearl Abab. Yeah, okay. That's P-E-R-L-A-B-A-R-B. It's a chainsaw. And it's it is a copy of the Husqvarna, which I have down here. Oh, here is the Husky, the backbreaker. Now, this is the same size, but not as heavy. It's about a third less in weight, I think. I'm not quite sure. But everything's basically the same as the husk funnel, except for the, the little push bulby thing. Do you remember um, ages ago I had to buy a bulb for the weed whacker? I had to buy a half a dozen. It was one of those. <laughs> there they are, half a dozen of them. Yeah. So, so now it'll probably be the wrong size. Or maybe they only make them in one size. I don't know. Anywho, we've got that. And what this does have that the um, Husqvarna doesn't have is under here is a, a scrunch. You can, I've got to be careful. There it is. One of those. It's a, a a screwdriver wrench, and it just fits in a little socket thing there. So you've always got it. But there it is. Now, two hundred dollars, as opposed to a replacement of the Husky, is over a thousand. So what do we expect? Not a lot, actually. But I have had it out, as you can, maybe you can tell, there's a couple of scuff marks on the bar already. And I've cut a, um, a wheelbarrow full of wood. And what it does do, and I, I suppose it's right, it makes the husky look tired. And the husky is 22 years old, I didn't realise, or 21 and a half years old. And it's... This thing pulls like it really rips. Uh, it's not as powerful, but it's almost as powerful. It's not as heavy. Uh, and <laughs> seriously, to start it, you pull like that, just a gentle pull and vroom, it goes. Uh, when, especially when it's hot, you don't have to do anything, just just a gentle pull on that and it knows it wants to go and away it goes. So yeah, brilliant so far. I've used it for about an hour and it's done what a chainsaw is supposed to do. That's all I can say. It's not, it is not a pro saw, but um, neither was the, the, the Husqvarna. The Husqvarna is uh, on the verge of being a pro saw, but as a weekend warrior getting wood for mum and dad, yeah. Not a problem, does it cut? Hell yeah, it cuts, and it cuts really well. It is very quiet. The muffler on this thing is incredible. Uh, even when the Husqvarna was new, it was loud. This one is not so loud. Very reminiscent of the Ozito, as far as noise goes. But having said that, very powerful. Tried it out on those big bits. Uh, if you've been following the vlog, you've seen the, the big hard bits out there hot knife through butter. Love it a lot. Uh, at the moment anyway, we love it. It has, the only thing is down here, uh, you have, I'm not gonna show you, it's just a, a screw that tensions the chain. And it's a little rough around the edges. It's got, uh, not as smooth in operation as the Husqvarna. And as Michael said to me, the Husky's 22 years old. This one is brand new. So we're gonna cut it some slack on that and say, not bad so far. Not bad at all. Thumbs up for the, um, the old cheapo chainsaw. That's what we're gonna call it. 
it's done well. And we'll see how, uh, well, I'm gonna take it out again around about five o'clock this afternoon because it's just too damn hot right now. That's why we're doing this video. But uh, we'll take it out about five o'clock and we'll have a red hot go with it. And uh, you, you can come too and we'll show you how good or how bad this thing really is. But I think it's a two thumbs up job for me at the minute. So what we're gonna do is organize the wood closer uh, to this chopping block here and then we'll start with the new chainsaw and cut. You can see that um, we've cut up quite a bit already and uh, there it is. Quite clean, cuts very good for any chainsaw. But this one, the El Cheapo chainsaw, we're looking good. All right, we'll organize some stuff here. I didn't realize I cut so much. <laughs> Wow, all right. Well, we're back in the shed. We've stopped um, our, our, I was going to say grass cutting, <laughs> our chainsawing for today. And chainsaws come up a treat. It's, um, the chain's a bit loose now, but we've really got stuck in. Don't need these gloves on. Um, yeah, so there it is. It's done particularly well. Liked it. And we ran out of uh, fuel. That's why we stopped. And uh, so tomorrow we'll be going to get fuel. I've been to the supermarket and I got some two stroke oil and it's a 25 to one. This is the ratio and it's really easy because what you do is you get your five litre uh, imperial gallon, five litre container and your 200 mil of oil comes in the bottle and you just empty that in there then you fill it up with uh, unleaded and that's your that's your fuel it's that easy no mathematics involved <laughs> so i've been doing it for in excess of 20 years i suppose but anyway there we go so that's 25 to 1 this goes on 25 to 1 Husqvarna at 25 to 1. This one also at 25 to 1. They use a bit more oil. There's some um, two strokes are at, at 50 to 1, which is like half the oil. But uh, this, they, these ones don't. So that's really good. It's very handy when you just go, okay, bang that in and fill it up and you don't have to think. Especially for me. Anyway, the chainsaw's done particularly well. And uh, it's, it's done a, a, a ripping job, literally a ripping job. Uh, I went out and uh, right at the end on the last tank, I went out and I did uh, some of those bigger pieces, the really large bits. But uh, yeah, we did some really large pieces with this and it just knifed right through them. I was very pleased with it. And so we've got that and well, it looks like we'll get done in fairly short order now. Uh, we'll get this wood in the shed and we can, once we've got it in the shed, you, you can gauge actually how much you've got and how much you're gonna need. I still think we might need a little bit to get us through this, this year. And um, I was saying to Mrs. Mack, we still have to go up to Yakandanda and just have a look and to see what, what's there. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell and share if you wouldn't mind and uh, we'll catch up with you in the next video. We'll see you then.